Hi folks, it's Crystalline. Um, so today's video was originally supposed to be a Plantarina unboxing video, um, but it didn't really turn out as I had planned, which is why this is called a Plantarina unboxing fail. So I am still going to go ahead and show you the plants that I did unbox um, that were supposed to be in the unboxing because they are great plants and I really want to feature the plants from Plantarina that I got since it was my first shipment from Plantarina um, and I was probably a little too excited to unbox them which is why I didn't make sure that everything was set up right the first time. But also in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about plants and mental health and also plant tube and mental health because watching plant videos on YouTube has been one of my favorite hobbies during this quarantine time and has really helped me feel connected to the outside world a little bit more than Netflix has. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now the video of the plants that I unboxed and um, what I learned about them in the unboxing. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about mental health. And then at the very end of this video, I am going to put in a clip of the original unboxing video so you can see what went wrong. Um, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and get into the plants that I'm going to feature in this video. So I wanted to take you guys on an unboxing tour with me. And I waited until this morning so that I could open these plants on video and that I could um, that I could take you guys on the very exciting moment that is um, unboxing my first shipment from Plant Arena. And that didn't happen because I had the camera facing the wrong way and recorded the entire 11 minutes of me unboxing these plants with the camera backwards. So I am now going to show you the plants that I got and that I unboxed and might not be as exciting, but I, I do wanna show you how well these plants shipped and how well Plantarina packages everything um, and talk to you a little bit about that because I was so excited to get this and I just wanna share a little bit of that with you. So the plants that I ordered are a parlor palm and a cotton candy bromeliad. Um, so the first plant is this parlor palm. Um, and you can see that there's a really nice bamboo stake and it was wrapped in this brown paper. Um, and the bamboo stake keeps it from getting smashed or jostled um, at all in any um, any part of the shipping process. So I ordered the small parlor palm and it is in this um, grow pot. And it is in this grow pot. But I also chose to get it with the plain white cash po, um, so that I could leave it in the nursery pot for longer and um, just have this cash po over it um, for decorative purposes. So that is a small parlor palm, and this is the care tag that came along with it, um, which is really nice because, as I told you guys in my last video, um, Amanda's care tips from the Plantarina videos are what I've been using for this of taking care of the plants that I already have. So the parlor palm likes medium water, low to bright indirect light, and average humidity. Um, so that means that it'll just be happy pretty much anywhere in my bedroom because my bedroom is a um, has a nice south facing window so it gets a lot of light during the day. And um, I don't know how much you guys know about Atlanta but it's pretty humid. So as long as I'm not running the air conditioner or um, the heat in the winter, I don't ever have to have a humidifier on because it's pretty naturally humid in here. Um, so yeah, currently I'm sitting at 73 degrees or 73 percent humidity and that is just from the rain that is going on outside. So the second plant that I ordered is the cotton candy bromeliad and it is stunning. 
Similarly, it came in the grow pot, but I also got the plain white cash bow to go over it because I thought it would just be beautiful to accentuate this green and pink foliage. And I wasn't really a fan of bromeliads at first until I saw this one. And when I take you guys on my houseplant tour, you will see that I love plants that have a little bit of pink foliage. Um, and I just thought this was stunning. Um, similarly, it has the uh, bamboo stake to keep it from getting jostled around during the shipping process. And I'm really excited because the bamboo stakes can be repurposed for um, some of my climbing houseplants. And the care tags come with twine, so that'll be nice to repurpose to tie the climbing plants to the stake. And all of the cardboard and paper packaging will be shredded and used for my compost pile because I do have a compost pile. Um, and the cash bows, the cash bows were wrapped in bubble wrap, which I don't love the plastic, but it's really nice because I am hopefully, um, I am planning to eventually do some plant swaps. I've joined some Atlanta plant swap groups. Um, so this will be nice to repurpose during any packaging or shipment that I have to do with that so that I won't have to purchase any more bubble wrap. I'm just going to keep all of the bubble wrap that I get from any of my pots and any bubble wrap that comes in any of my packages so that I can reuse it and not put it in a landfill. So I'm sorry that I didn't get to show you the actual unboxing. Um, I might put in a few clips from that so you can at least maybe hear my excitement when I open these plants. Um, and now you just get to see the after effects of the plants. But I guess that's part of the learning to YouTube journey is learning what direction your camera should be facing and to check and make sure that your camera is facing the right direction before you start filming or before you start talking or before you start doing an unboxing because you really can't go back and reshoot an unboxing. Um, as you can see, I have the after effects everywhere. I'm gonna show you guys that now. So there is soil on my floor and I will have to be doing um, some vacuuming and all of all of the here. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, at least learning a little bit about the plants that I unboxed from Plant Arena and thank you so much for watching that and thank you for watching my videos in general. I really appreciate that. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about um, why I think plants are great for mental health. So most people have heard of emotional support animals and while I personally have four cats between myself and my girlfriend, um, I know that animals can be a lot of work, especially if someone is experiencing severe anxiety or depression or any other type of mental health issue that makes um, daily functioning a little more difficult. And it can be a lot of pressure to get an animal because that's something that you really have to take care of every single day. And animals are a huge responsibility. They are not a responsibility to, take in, to be taken lightly. Now, I think everyone should have access to um, emotional support animals if they want them. But again, a lot of people don't want to take on an extra responsibility and be responsible for another um, sentient being other than themselves. So I think that um, plants are a really great in-between step. I know a lot of people try to take on low maintenance plants, but as I said um, for myself, having low maintenance plants was kind of a really easy excuse to not take care of the plant because I knew it would be fine if I just forgot about it for a while. And so that's why I kind of advocate for taking on a plant that is a little bit higher maintenance. Maybe not a plant that is super expensive so that if you aren't able to keep up with it, then you know, you've know you lost out on money and all of the time that you put into it. But maybe a plant that does need watered more often than a snake plant or a succulent, also not as needy. Even the most high maintenance plants don't require 
feeding and watering every single day like animals do. So I really recommend um, getting into plants for people who are thinking maybe about getting an animal, but maybe aren't so sure if they can keep up with taking care of an animal. And this goes for people who aren't looking for an animal for mental health reasons also, but just because they want something else living in their lives, especially during quarantine, it can be so isolating to be the only one living in your apartment or your house if you live alone. And bringing in an animal that might be a little bit more of a responsibility, might be a little bit too much work, and not all of us are ready for that. So plants are a great way to take care of something other than yourself in the morning. So I think everyone should consider getting at least one high maintenance high maintenance plant um, because it's great to have a sense of responsibility to another living being. And like I've said multiple times, not nearly as much pressure as an animal. Another reason that plants have been really good for my mental health is that something I mentioned at the beginning of the video is that watching videos of people talking about plants and people taking care of plants um, on YouTube has been a little bit better for me in terms of feeling connected to the outside world than Netflix. Um, obviously everything on YouTube is pre-recorded most of the time unless you're watching a live stream. But it feels just a little bit more like another person on the other side of the camera. Whereas on Netflix, you know that they're actors and it's sort of, there's sort of like a, another level of distance between you and the person on the other end of the camera. So for those of you who aren't already into watching a lot of videos on PlantTube, I highly recommend it if you are sick of binge watching the same shows on Netflix. Um, a lot of the videos are super short. Most of them are like 20 minutes or less. So it's not a huge commitment, not like watching a new movie for the first time or something. So yeah, check out, check out some people on PlantTube and hit me up if you have any questions or you want recommendations of who to watch or who I've been watching. Um, and leave a comment down below if you have a favorite person that you watch on PlantTube. Um, I keep saying PlantTube. I don't know if you guys know that I mean plant YouTube. Love to shorten words. Um, so plant tubers are plant YouTubers. Um, so yeah, leave a comment below um, of some, some people that you've been watching on PlantTube or leave a comment below if you have something that you would like to see me do in some more videos. Thank you guys for watching this far. If you are still interested in seeing the clip of um, my original Plant Arena unboxing video, it will be right after this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you will see my newest videos as soon as I post them. And let me know if there's anything you want to hear me talk about. Thanks, guys. So I am super excited about this as well. This is a cotton candy bromeliad. Um, and I don't see a care tag on here, so I wonder if maybe it's still in the box. Um, but let's check this one out. It's got the same um, bamboo staking and um, just wrapped with twine. So again, super repurposable. Um, very excited about that. <laughs>